Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to talk about extending SAS and uh, Compass in particular. So we have SAS and Compass, which are two great tools. SAS uh, does the compiling, adds the features. Compass is a collection of mix-ins and tools that helps us create sites easier. Well, Compass isn't really the only external library out there that can help us with SAS. There's actually a lot of them, and there's more all the time. In fact, there's grid frameworks like Suzy and Singularity, which we'll be covering both of. There's things like uh, the Toolkit, which offers like a clear fix mix-in and just extra, extra little tools here and there. We have uh, things like globbing, which basically makes uh, partials uh, way cooler because you don't have to import every single partial separately. You can have all sorts of them. You can just have, say, hey, look in a file and pull in as many as you can. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, and it's great. It will completely change how you use SAS and your workflow, and I'm super excited. So today, what we're going to do is get started with uh, SAS and extending SAS. And to do so, we're actually going to create our own config.rb file. And you could have a config.rb file generated for you in the methods that we outlined in previous videos way back a couple of years, last year or so. Um, but I think it's important to understand what goes in a config.rb file and how it can help us. So if we want to use an extension or anything like that, we can put it in this config.rb file. Uh, and we'll be doing that certainly in the next lesson, we're going to be installing globbing and then moving on to breakpoint, the grid or uh, singularity and breakpoint, uh, singularity being the grid framework and breakpoint being awesome media query mix-ins for SAS. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on my project here, which is, by the way, just a normal HTML5 boilerplate project, nothing crazy done to it. I'm going to create a new file and I'm just going to save it as config.rb, nothing special. Uh, uh, this is a Ruby file and you don't have to know Ruby to write this file. So we want to say, um, let's just go down a few lines because I'm going to put my require statements above this later. Uh, so I can say project underscore type and then colon or equals colon stand underscore alone. Um, and now we're going to have basically the values that we configured within CodeKit or things like that before and just tell it where our paths are. So our HTTP path uh, isn't anything special. So we just have equals and then in quotes, a forward slash, we have our sass underscore directory is going to be uh, just sass. In fact, you can see it over here in my sublime is just the sass folder. And we also have our CSS directory. And now this is where our CSS is going to compile into. And this is just CSS. We already have this directory created. Now we have our images underscore dir so we have uh, our images are just in an img folder and our fonts are underscore are in a fonts folder although that doesn't quite exist so let me make one new folder fonts okay so as you can see, this is going, you know, it's it's pretty basic here and there's nothing scary. So the moment that you learn to write these things yourself, like this config RB, uh, the more you'll maybe understand a little bit what's going on instead of having uh, an application do it for you. But uh, if you understand it and you don't care, you can always, you know, do whatever you'd like and whatever works for you. So JavaScript's underscore directory and this is just going to be in JS. Notice how it's JavaScripts underscore directory. Cool. And now we can get into configuring the output a little bit. We can say line comments. Uh, we would not like those. So we're going to say under, they're equal to false. And actually, I'm sorry, that's false without any quotes. So just like that. Um, preferred syntax. This is going to be what types of files we have. We have SCSS files. 
uh, as opposed to SASS files. If you don't know the difference, check out sass.com. Um, they go over what the difference is there. Preferred syntax is equal to, and then we have colon SCSS. We have output style. And uh, again, we covered output styles in the past. However, this is just setting it up. So when we say compass watch, we don't have to tell it the output style. And we're going to say this is expanded because this is in production or development right now. And uh, relative underscore assets, even though we're not really going to be using any of these, we can just say true. OK, perfect. So we now have our config.rb file. Now to confirm this, let's just say body bg uh, background. Oh, this is set to be a plain text file. Um, we have no code coloring here, uh, but that's all right. I will uh, install the SAS Sublime Text Code Coloring plugin in the uh, break between these videos. So we saved this file here. Now let's start our compass watch. And now I'm going to change into my sites directory. So I'm going to say cd sites, okay. And then I have this site located in level up SAS like that. We have our site here. And now we can say compass. Uh, and then we can say watch. Now it looks like it's watching our file. It compiled it to CSS dot uh, in the folder CSS. Come in here. Um, we have two files here. Let me actually I'm going to delete this main one. Uh, but here we have our style that CSS compiled for us. Uh, as you can see, our config.rb file is working as we wanted it to. So in the next video, we're going to show you how you can require uh, new modules and then we can install them and it's going to be perfect. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please hit us up at Twitter or Facebook, uh, Level Up Tuts forum, anywhere. Ask us some questions. We're going to be getting into some really cool new SaaS stuff in the next few videos. So thanks for watching. Bye.